today we are going to talk about a topic, um, how we can explain in layman uh, words, um, like in simple words, uh, some um, disease to the patient. Uh, so we are going to uh, talk about gum disease today. Uh, so uh, we have uh, in um, dental words, uh, we have uh, gingivitis, periodontitis, uh, we have periimplantitis, we have um, uh, anug as well. And we are going to, uh, for each of them, uh, say how we can tell, explain the disease to the patient. So gingivitis. Gingivitis is a gum disease uh, where we have the gum that is inflamed. So we have the gum that is red, uh, could be a bit swollen, um, a bit painful, uh, and bleed uh, easily. Uh, so this is a reversible gum disease. Explaining now the periodontitis. Periodontitis uh, is a gum disease that is irreversible where we have an inflammation of the gum and the bone underneath. We have the um, germs uh, that are um, in the soft and hard deposit that uh, provokes uh, this um, inflammation of the gum and thus we have this gingivitis. And if we don't do anything, the germs will spread beneath the gum and it will lead to the inflammation of the bone and will have bone loss. We have to understand that the bone is what we, uh, what it supports and keeps the teeth uh, in the jaw bone. So the less we have bone because of this inflammation, the less we have support for the tooth and the more it becomes wobbly. And ultimately, when we have very few or no bone left, the tooth is, um, is just uh, lost. Now explaining periimplantitis. Periimplantitis is uh, the same thing as a periodontitis we just explained, but we'll have to apply it to the implant. So periodontitis, periimplantitis is a, basically a gum disease and a bone disease. When we have an inflammation of the gum and the bone, when we have soft and hard deposit around an implant, we have germs inside this uh, debris that will spread and inflame the gum. If we don't do anything, this spread to the bone and will kind of eat the bone around the implant. And the bone is what keeps the implant screwed inside the jaw bone. So the less we have bone, the more the implant uh, will become loose and we can um, ultimately lose the implant. Uh, now anug. Uh, anug or necrotizing um, gingival disease or periodontal disease is an acute gum disease where we have some specific germs that are um, inflaming severely the gum and it will, it will uh, firstly uh, attack the uh, gum between the teeth, uh, which we call the interpapilla um, of the uh, gum. And uh, it is a very painful uh, form of gum disease. Uh, and the same as a gingivitis and periodontitis, if we leave this uh, like that, it can spread very rapidly and aggressively to the uh, bone underneath, and we can have 
uh, very quickly and severe bone loss. Hope this uh, helped uh, for you to explain in simple uh, manner and in simple way uh, to the patient uh, what, um, what is the kind of disease the patient is having. We're going now to uh, explain caries and pulpitis. So how I explain a caries or decay or hole uh, to the patient uh, in a simple way is that um, so when we eat um, we uh, provide sugar to the germs that are in our mouth so if we don't re brush the teeth and remove uh, that um, debris and soft debris uh, we call plaque, uh, we uh, have the germs that will use that to produce acids. The acids, they will um, erode, will make holes on the two surface, and this is how uh, the uh, decay will start. So if left like this, and we don't um, remove that decay and uh, place a filling, this decay will grow and get bigger. So this is how we explain a, a decay or caries. Now, when we explain a pulpitis, we explain this first part that we um, talk about. So this decay, how it forms. And we just add that when we leave a decay untreated, it, the germs spread throughout the uh, tooth and until it reaches the, um, the nerve of the tooth. And uh, um, when it is closed to the nerve uh, and we have the um, a pain, that is only triggered by, for instance, could be cold or sugar or anything that the patient can complain about and doesn't last long, like it lasts for a few minutes, then we say that it's reversible. And if it is more as a continuous pain uh, that uh, is lingering, and uh, it can impair the patient's sleep, for instance, then we are going to say that it is irreversible. Nothing can relieve the patient's pain. So when we explain pulpitis, we have to say that it is an inflammation of the nerve that uh, is um, due to these uh, germs that are spreading from the decay. So this is how we explain a caries and pulpitis. So um, abscess is a, a swelling and a collection of pus. So we have inside germs and it's an infection. The cellulitis is um, a spreading infection uh, that uh, can come from the teeth, uh, as we know, or another origin. But for uh, ADC purpose, it is a, from the tooth. So it is a um, spreading, it's an important swelling uh, that spread beyond the bone uh, and uh, it is it can give um, signs and symptoms like fever and uh, lymphadenitis what is that how we can explain it to the patient it is basically a swelling of the lymph nodes that we have here here that the gp usually check when uh, we go there and we have, for instance, uh, a flu or 
the other condition, they always check there, that is a sign of an infection. What is a pulpotomy and what is a root canal treatment or RCT? Uh, so um, pulpotomy, basically, um, the procedure consists on uh, numbing the area, the tooth. We place a rubber sheet to isolate the tooth from the, um, the saliva and the rest of the mouth. And uh, uh, we are going to uh, re clean and remove all the uh, decay. And uh, um, then we are going to open uh, the superficial part of the root, which we call pulp chamber, where we find the nerve. So the nerve, which we call pulp, we are going to remove only a superficial part of it we're going to um, place a dressing, and then we either place a temporary um, restoration or we place a um, definitive restoration if it's for a deciduous tooth. Um, and then we can add, uh, if it's a molar, uh, a deciduous molar, we will add the um, stainless steel crown or cap. Now, uh, the RCT, it, it, it looks a bit like that as well, but just we're going to explain a bit more because it's more complex than the pulpotomy. So we are going the same way. We are going to numb the tooth. We are going to isolate it with a rubber sheet. We are going to uh, remove the decay. We are going to access uh, to the root, the camels, and we are going to remove the inflamed or dead nerve, depend if you have a pulpitis or necrosis. And then we, we are going to use some special instruments to retrieve that nerve, to clean, um, and we're going to obturate uh, or add a kind of plastic filling inside. Then we are going to uh, place a temporary filling or a definitive filling, depending on the situation. And uh, um, we remove the uh, rubber sheet isolation and we are going to check the biting of the patient. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.